In the previous two lessons, we learned the characteristics of an AC and the steps of finding RMS current, RMS voltage, and thus the average power in an AC circuit. In this lesson, we will look at a special case of alternating current, a sinusoidal AC, and calculate these characteristics quantitatively. A sinusoidal AC, as its name suggests, can be represented by a sine or cosine graph for both the current and the voltage. It can thus be represented mathematically with the instantaneous current or voltage as a function of time by the following equations. For a sine graph, the current is I0 sine omega t and V is voltage V is V0 sine omega t. Alternatively, it can be represented by a cosine graph by replacing the sine with cosine. Although a sinusoidal AC can be represented by either a sine or cosine graph, we should not think of them as two different things. In fact, they are the same thing. A cosine graph can be converted into a sine graph by simply adding a quarter of a period, or simply by choosing the origin for time such, as the uh, such that the both graphs are the same. Hence, for the rest of this lesson, we will be analyzing the equations using the sine graphs, but keep in mind that the same concept applies for a cosine graph. 